Hello and welcome to VSO Sync Garvin's Overview. Here I'm going to quickly show you what the program can do. Let's start by launching it. Then we load an image. Fine. First of all, I'm going to tell you that if you just let the mouse over a button, you'll see a tooltip that will tell you what it does. In most of the cases, how it does it. So about retargeting for, for example we can remove either one column clicking on this button or one line clicking on this one notice that when I click on remove one column the important features of the picture stay the same they only get closer one to another but if I want to remove 100 pixels or even on bigger pictures 200 or 300 pixels I have to, I'll have to click on this button 300 times. That's not the easiest way to do, so that's why we can also just input the target width here. For example, 300. I click on the apply button, and now I have the same picture 300 by 300 pixels. And if we compare it to the stretched version, we see that the bunch of features stay the same. We can also enlarge the picture the same way, we just input here 500 for example we click on the apply button and we have the same picture only wider we can also change directly the aspect ratio of the picture for example this picture is 4 by 3 the same as an old TV screen we can choose to put it to the aspect ratio 16 by 9 as a new TV screen just by clicking on 16 9 and here we have it but if you notice the shed is a little bit stretched to prevent that firstly we reset the image to the original and then we're going to protect the shed to do this we just click on the shield button and with a rectangle we just cover the shed in green now if we select once again 69th and then we go to the output image we see that the shade remains the same as the people and the, and the bicycles if we compare it to the stretched version everything has changed and to end this overview I'm going to show you how to remove objects from a picture in this case people we just click on the eraser icon on, then on the rectangle and we just cover this time in red this person here with the rectangles we can also choose to use polygons and now we just click around the person we want to remove we cover all you just right click and everything becomes red and last we can choose to use a brush and then we just paint over the desired object now we just click on remove by width and we can see the result where the three people are gone Okay, so that's all for today. Goodbye.